Hello everybody and welcome to Flashing Lights. This is not exactly a game that I have put out on my channel much. I think I have like one stream VOD and then one video on it. So I've been playing it quite a bit uh, on the side and I've really enjoyed it. So I decided to jump in here and uh, make a video. I'm going to try to make more content for it uh, as time goes on because it is definitely a fun emergency services simulator game, which I love playing. So we're going to be out on patrol here with the Arkansas State Police. Uh, the only thing that I don't have is a uniform to match this, uh, but I did go ahead and adjust some of the lighting on this car to match uh, Arkansas. I know that they use a lot of blue lights. Um, I do have some reds on them. Let me actually turn my lights on and show you guys what we're working with. I have adjusted uh, most of the lights to be blue. As you guys can see, the mirror lights are alternating between blue and red, and then my windshield lights are alternating between blue and red. But other than that, I have edited most of these to be uh, all blues because I know ASP uses a lot of blue lights. So we're going to go ahead and get out on patrol. We're going to be mostly doing ambient stuff, but we'll take some call-outs if we need to. So let's go ahead and get out and see what happens. 9 King 7, go ahead and show me 1040 110 in service. Available for calls. Ooh, 70 and a 55. We're going to go and pull over this van. He was going real fast. We just moved up to a different spot because I wasn't getting much luck where I was. But we're going to go ahead and make a traffic stop on this van for speeding. Gonna get up behind him and blip him. The blipping system in this game is a little bit different than LSPD far. I also want to be careful that I don't crash into them. Alright, we do have them blipped. So they're gonna immediately just jet off to the side of the road there. And unfortunately, we are not able to uh, move them like we can in LSPD far. So where they stopped is where they have stopped. So um, this AI driver here is probably not gonna know how to get around me. So let me go ahead and position my vehicle a little bit differently here. So I'm not blocking the road. There we go. All right, Nine King Seven. I'm going to be 3213 with a blue cargo van. Uh, looks to be occupied times one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make contact with the driver. I'm going to go and make sure there's nobody coming. I don't have a way to slow down traffic, I don't think. So I'm going to go ahead and step out while I have an opportunity here. Let me go ahead and close my door. And we're going to approach on the passenger side because I don't want to get hit by a car standing next to the road. So. How's it going, sir? I am uh, Trooper Ice with the... Uh, Arkansas State Police, the reason why I'm stopping you today is because uh, I clocked you going 70 in a posted 55, which is 15 over the posted speed limit. Um, do you have your uh, license registration on you today? Thank you, Mr. Rios. Go ahead and sit down for me. I'll be right back with you. All right, let's go ahead and run his uh, information in the system. Oh, uh, this Arkansas State Police looks so good. I love it. I'm going to definitely use more vehicles with the skin for sure. Let's go ahead and open up our uh, CAD system here, and we're going to search the database. We're going to go ahead and autofill details for Eddie Rios, and we're going to see what comes up. He's valid, no warrants. He's not wanted. He's been arrested once prior. He doesn't have a weapon permit. Let me go ahead and search for his license plate. Um, let me see if I can see it. I'm not entirely sure if I can. Let's actually hit escape here. It's not going to come up with anything, obviously. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, scan vehicle in front. Ooh, this vehicle in front of us is reported stolen. Okay, that's not good. Let's go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. Not sure if we can do a, uh, a code five stop or anything like that. So we're, we are gonna go ahead and get him out of the vehicle though. So let me back out of my CAD system here. Let's step out. And uh, we're gonna have him step out of the vehicle. I'm probably gonna get hit by a car here if I'm not careful. So let's just get this done as quickly as we can here. All right, sir, do me a favor. Um, go ahead and get out of the vehicle for me. And do me a favor, uh, turn around and oh, it's going to be the actions menu. Turn around and place your hands behind your back. You're currently under arrest. This vehicle is reported stolen, so we're going to probably be charging with possession of a stolen vehicle. Um, let me go ahead and grab him, bring him off to the side of the road here so he doesn't get hit by a car. It's, I don't get hit by a car. We'll go ahead and uh, search him and we'll search the vehicle to see what we can find. All right, man. Um, I believe this is how I let him go. Yeah, the only way that I'm able to let people go is if I just jump. So, um, we're going to go ahead and search this person here. So, we'll go ahead and frisk them. See if they have anything illegal on them. Uh, nope. They just have an ID card. So, at this point in time, all this guy's going to be charged with is speeding and possession of a stolen vehicle. So, I'll go and say tie for me, man. I'm going to go and search the vehicle and see if we can find anything. Another thing that I like about flashing lights is you have to search every area of the vehicle in order to find stuff. So it's not like LSPDFR where we search one part of the vehicle and it just tells us where everything is. We actually have to search every part. This just has a baseball bat in the back here. Um, we're going to go ahead and search this portion of the vehicle now. 
cleaning products and office supplies. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's go and search the passenger seat, then we'll search the driver's seat. And our suspect is still standing there, which is good. We should probably put him in the back of our vehicle. Uh, model train. I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. I'm going to put him in the back of my uh, patrol car. All right, actions. We'll go ahead and grab him. I'm going to put you in the back of my vehicle, sir. Appreciate the cooperation. Thank you. All right, close the vehicle, and we have to search a couple more uh, spots here. We should be good. Oh, there's no door over here, so we just have to search the driver's seat. And a stuffed animal. <laughs> Alright, nothing illegal in the vehicle. So, at this point in time, all we are going to be charging him with is his speed and then possession of a stolen vehicle. So, I'm going to go and request a tow truck to come out to our location. Come pick this thing up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and transport this guy down to jail ourselves, and we'll book him. So, we're going to go ahead and wait for... Our total ride. Looks like they're coming up behind us here. Be uh, getting on the highway from that junction. Should be showing up shortly. There they are. You can see them there. Good old police tow showing up. And they're going to go ahead and transport this vehicle. And then we are going to head back to the city police department. And we're going to book this guy. Most unlegit towing that you'll see in any game right here. They just grab the vehicle and they're gone. But anyway... All right, 9 King 7. We're code 4 here on scene. I'm going to be transporting. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, town here. All right, we have just reached the police station here in town. We're going to go ahead and park out front here. I just pulled on the curb. Don't mind that. We're going to go ahead and get this guy booked for his crimes, and we're going to get back out on patrol. So let's go ahead and hop out. Close our door here. One thing that uh, we don't have the option to do yet in Flashing Lance is we don't have the option to do more, like, advanced charges. Um, we go ahead and grab him. There we go. Uh, we can't put an advanced charge. So when I go book this guy, it's not going to give me an option to charge him with specific things. Hopefully that's something they add at some other time, but uh, at least we can book people. So we're going to go over here and we're going to book this guy for his crimes. We're going to get back out on patrol. Register suspects. Eddie Rio signature player 35405. And there we go. We have uh, booked a suspect. So 9 King 7, I'm going to be back on patrol. Show me back to Nate. All right, this van in front of us, I believe, has a suspended registration. We're just going to verify the plates match. What I have is 08753 Charlie. Uh, and that is what I have, 08753 Charlie. All right, we're going to be pulling this van over for a suspended registration. So as soon as we get through this intersection, we'll light them up. Hopefully we can get them to pull in that uh, little area off to the right. They're going to hard pull over here. Better than nothing. Unfortunately, this is the best we can do. So we're going to position our vehicle so we're not obstructing traffic, even though we probably will. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, 9 King 7 will be 2337 with a... Uh, I believe this is a blue in color van. My lights are uh, kind of obstructing me from seeing the color. It's either blue or it's uh, like gray, but it's going to be a suspended registration. No additional units. So we're going to go ahead and make contact with the driver and see what's going on. How's it going, ma'am? I am uh, Trooper Ice, the Arkansas State Police. The reason why I am pulling you over today is because your registration on your vehicle is coming back suspended. Uh, do you know anything about that? Get your license registration all that good stuff? All right. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Watkins. Go and sit down for me. I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, driver's name. See if it comes back to anything. All right. Got our cat up here. You have a suspended registration on this. So let's go ahead and search the database. Let's go ahead and auto fill the details for Wanda Watkins. Coming back valid. They've never been stopped before. Never been arrested. No tickets. They're not wanted, but they don't have a weapon permit. That's okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, probably end up having this vehicle towed because um, they're not allowed to drive it with the registration being suspended. So uh, we'll actually see if we can give them a ticket for it. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think we have to go to the window of the vehicle to give a ticket. So I'm just going to write him a citation for it. I'm not sure if it, it'll let them drive away or not, but either way, we're going to give him a citation for it. So. All right, Ms. Watkins, here's your information back. Uh, so I'm going to be writing you a citation for, uh, for not having your registration. It is suspended. It would be 2337. Driver's full name is, uh, 
keypad right auto fill details. Well, it's not going to let me auto fill details apparently, so we're just going to go and type this in ourselves. Wanda Watkins. Oops. All right, go down. License plate number 087 53 Charlie. Uh, why does it not register that? Let's see if it does this. Oops. see if it'll do this. Still, no, still won't recognize the license plate. I don't know why it's uh, it's not uh, letting me do this. D-pad right. Oh, there we go. For some reason, it wasn't working, and now it is. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and hit done. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let her go. She's free to go. Drive safe, ma'am. Get your uh, registration uh, fixed. And we're going to be back on a patrol. She's going to have a little bit of a tough time moving. She's probably not going to be able to get out of this. And unless I back up, maybe she'll have a little bit of room here. So let me go ahead and uh, turn my lights off. Let me go ahead and back my car up, see if she'll back her car up. All right. So she's unable to get her vehicle moved here. So I'm going to go ahead and just let her sit here. And as soon as we get out of range of her, she'll probably despawn. Or she'll just go ahead and drive off. That works too. All right, uh, 9 King 7, go and show me back to Nathan's service. I'm going to go ahead and get myself back up here, get our uh, scan vehicle up, and uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can get into. 81 and a 75. We're going to pull over this blue car here. Speeding. Oh, I forget how different this vehicle handles in this game versus GTA, so... Fuck this person going 81 and opposes 75, so six over the limit. I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a traffic stop on him. Go ahead and uh, pull off to the side. We get up on the curb a little bit, just so we're not blocking traffic. But the reason why I pulled this vehicle over is speeding. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my CAD system here. We're gonna go ahead and do a uh, scan vehicle in front. Looks like this vehicle is good. There's no issues with the plate. So we're gonna go ahead and make contact with the driver and uh, have a word with him over here to the uh, passenger side so we're not staying in the road how's it going sir i am uh trooper ice the arkansas state police the reason why i'm pulling you over today is because i clocked you going 81 at a post at 75 so you're going six over the limits uh do you have your license registration and all that good stuff appreciate that mr curry um let's see if there's any other questions we can ask him over here uh nope we really can't ask him any questions all right let's go ahead and jump in the system let's look him up and see if he's okay All right, let's go ahead and go into our CAD here. Search the database. We're going to autofill Grant Curry in, see what comes back. All right, they uh, don't have a driver's license. So they're driving without a license. That's not good for them. Uh, they have zero traffic violations. They have 14 parking tickets. Man, this person just parks wherever they want, I guess. They are not wanted, and they have no warrant. So we're going to go ahead and pull them out of the vehicle and have another word with them. They don't have a license, so chances are they're not going to be driving this vehicle today. Don't have them step out. Nobody behind us, so we're good. All right, man. Go ahead and do me a favor and uh, step out of the vehicle for me. All right, sir. Um, Go ahead and follow me over here off to the side of the road. I don't know if getting him over the curb is going to work. I've had a lot of uh, trouble doing that, but let's go and see if it'll work. Okay, good. It will. All right, so he's up here on the curb. All right, man. So at this point... Uh, you don't have a valid driver's license, so I'm not going to be letting you drive this car away here today. Um, is there anything illegal in the vehicle that I need to know about? Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can, uh... Let's just go and do a quick little pat down of him, make sure there's nothing illegal on him. There's an ID on him, but it doesn't have a valid driver's license. Alright, man. Go and sit tight for me. Uh, at this point in time, what we're going to probably do with him is we're just going to, um... I'm going to drive him into town a little bit so he doesn't have to walk all the way. And uh, we're going to get his vehicle towed out of here. So let me go ahead and request a, uh, a tow. Have them come out and take his vehicle away. And um, yeah, I'm going to go and put him in the back of my car. I'm just going to drive him into town, drop him off. So that he doesn't have to uh, walk very far. So I'll go and put him over here. All right, man. Give you a ride to town. Appreciate your cooperation with me. Let's go ahead and uh, sit in there. Oh. I can't close my door like I can with GTA 5. You guys saw what I was doing there. But uh, we're going to go wait for our tow to get here, too. We're going to jump in the driver's seat of our patrol car. 
Here comes the tow. Zooming right up here. All right, tow is taking it away, and as soon as they uh, move the vehicle, I am going to pull forward, and we're going to drive him just uh, up the road here into town. So. All right, they're gonna stop right in front of me. That just completely ruined my plans. Let's go ahead and let them uh, drive off here. There they go. All right, nine king seven, show me ten seven. I'm gonna be uh, transporting this guy real quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stop here at this bus stop, and we're going to uh, drop him off here. I'm gonna see if I can charge him still. Uh, might not be able to when he's not in his vehicle, but let's go ahead and have him hop out here. Uh, there's the door. All right, man, do me a favor. Go ahead and. Uh, Step out of the vehicle for me. Alright, let's see if we can uh, charge him. Commands, we cannot do anything there. Actions, can't do anything there. Requests, uh, we cannot charge him at all. So, for the sake of this scenario that we got ourselves into, we're going to write him a ticket for his speed. Again, he was going 81 and a post at 75, so we'll cite him for that, and then we'll cite him for uh, driving without a license. So, at this point in time, sir, you're free to go. Please stay safe and uh, get your driver's license, man, so you can drive legally. And slow down, please. So, go ahead and let him go. He's going to start walking down the road. Or he's just going to stand there. Yeah, he's just going to stand there. All right. Uh, Nine King Seven, go and show me back to Nate in service. Let's go and see what else we can get into. Uh, this vehicle over here is having a little bit of trouble, it seems. They're running up on the side of the road, hitting these pillars. Uh, we're gonna stop them and see if they're okay. They may be drunk or something. Looks like they finally freed themselves. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and make a stop on them, so... And they're really zipping up there. Holy cow. Alright, as soon as we, uh, get a opportunity to pull them over, probably after this intersection, we're gonna light them up. And we're going to see what's going on. All right, looks like final stop is going to be here on the corner. All right, 9 King 7 traffic. I'm going to be 2636 out with a white van. Uh, occupied times one. Uh, driver is... I caught them back a couple intersections ago. Uh, kind of riding up on the curb, and they were hitting those uh, those support pillars, or those, uh, those pillars, like these right here behind us. They were riding up on that, and they were stuck on them. So I'm not sure if they just... Uh, we're trying to make the turn too tight and they got stuck, or if they're intoxicated. We're going to go ahead and try to figure that out, though. So I'm going to make contact with the driver here. Go ahead and close my door. Approach on the passenger side so we don't get hit. And we're going to figure out what's going on. Let's go, ma'am. I am uh, Trooper Ice, the Arkansas State Police. The reason why I'm pulling you over today is because a couple intersections ago, I saw you turning right, and you were kind of uh, stuck on the pillars on the side of the road here. Um, is there any particular reason why you're doing that? Uh, first and foremost, do you have your license registration? We got Rachel Stanley. Thank you, Miss Stanley. Uh, have you had any alcohol recently? Not at all. Okay, have you used drugs recently? Not at all. All right, do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? You don't? Okay. May I search the vehicle if, uh, if I need to? Okay, appreciate the, uh, the go ahead. Um, just go and sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to go ahead and run her in the system. I'm going to do a some type of field sobriety on her because I'm not sure if she's drunk or not, but what she was doing was crazy. So have our CAD come up here. Let's go ahead and jump into the system. Uh, search the database. We're going to autofill Rachel Stanley. Let's see if we can uh, see what's going on here with her. All right. So she's valid. No warrants. She's never been arrested. She's not wanted. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull her out of the vehicle real quick, and we are going to do a... Uh, field sobriety test. We're gonna see if she's under the influence of alcohol. She said she wasn't, but you know, people could say that, and unless we actually test it, we'll never know. So, all right, Miss Stanley, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, step out of the vehicle for me. All right. Um. Oops. Wrong menu. I'm gonna go ahead and bring her off to the side of the road. Just follow me, ma'am. I'm gonna make sure you're safe and you're not gonna get hit by a car. I'm gonna bring her up here on the uh, sidewalk. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and. Do an alcohol test. All right, I'm gonna make sure you're okay to drive because earlier you were really not driving properly. So let's go and do an alcohol test. We got our results. She has no alcohol in her system. I'm gonna go and do a drug test real quick just to verify. Okay, portable drug test shows negative. All right, man, appreciate your cooperation. Just uh, go ahead and sit tight for me, all right? 
All right, so she did give me permission to search the vehicle. I'm just going to search the driver's seat and uh, make sure there's nothing unusual in there. We'll search the driver's seat in the back. Just to make sure there's nothing illegal in the vehicle. So, got a bus ticket. That's all that's in the front here. And then we'll search the back. And if everything comes back clean and clear, uh, we'll go ahead and just let her on her way with a warning. Got a paintball gun back here. Uh, probably should have let me know if you had anything of note in the vehicle, ma'am. That paintball gun, while it isn't a real gun, it's still a threat. So, just make sure to let someone who pulls you over know in the future that you have that. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, see if we can get her to go back to her vehicle. Wait in your vehicle for me, ma'am. Alright, so at this point in time, um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and let her go with a warning. Um, she's not under the influence of alcohol. There's nothing illegal in her vehicle. She's not high on drugs or anything. So, I'm gonna guess, honestly, realistically, it was probably just the pathing of the AI that screwed the driver over. Uh, but for roleplay purposes, you know, we're just gonna say that, uh, potential DUI, so... All right, man. Appreciate your cooperation. I'm going to go and get you out of here with uh, a warning. So please make sure you're driving safe. And uh, yeah, just uh, as soon as it's safe to pull out, you may leave and uh, have a good day. Oops. It, uh, verdict warning. It just doesn't give me anything. So you're free to go, ma'am. Here's your warning. Uh, this person over here, they are stumbling around. Um, 9 King 7, 2636, I had you have a female who is, uh, appears to be intoxicated. I'm gonna go ahead and run over here and see what's going on. Excuse me, ma'am. Come here. Hey. Close enough to pick it up. All right. Follow me for a second, ma'am. This person is definitely intoxicated. Holy cow, they're stumbling all over the place. All right. Go ahead and follow me over here, ma'am. I'm gonna walk back here to my vehicle, okay? I don't have to lead you into a pole there. We're going to conduct an investigation with her. Just finished this traffic stop and I noticed this woman was stumbling. She stopped following me. Ma'am, please, please keep following me. I'm going to go ahead and lead her myself. She seems to not be able to uh, walk on her own. So we're going to bring her over here to the front of my vehicle. Figure out who she is. We'll uh, look her up in the system. Make sure she doesn't have any warrants or anything like that. Make sure she's good. All right. All right, ma'am. Um, do you have an ID on you? We got Marlon Christensen. Or, excuse me, Marlene Christensen. Uh, do me a favor. Just wait here, ma'am. I'm going to jump in my vehicle and run her through the system. Hopefully she stays there and doesn't run off on me. Let's go and search database. Put her uh, information in here. Uh, she's not wanted. She doesn't have any warrants. She has a valid license, and yeah, there's nothing of uh, concern in here. So, go ahead and pop out, and uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick search on her, make sure she doesn't have anything illegal on her, and then we'll do a BAC test and a drug test to see if she's high or drunk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's nothing illegal on you, ma'am. Just go ahead and uh, do me a favor and hold your arms out. Uh, all we have is an ID card, so she doesn't have anything illegal on her. All right, um, I'm gonna give you an alcohol test. We're gonna see how much alcohol you have in your blood, if you have any. It's a .102, so she is over the legal limits. That is going to be public intoxication. So we are going to charge her with that. So we're gonna we're gonna get her in my car and take her down to station and book her. Um, we're just gonna do a quick drug test as well. See if she's clean and clear there. Yep. All right. So it's just gonna be alcohol. All right, ma'am. Uh, at this point in time. Um, go and turn around, place your hands behind your back for me. You're going to be placed under arrest for public intoxication. Your BAC is over the legal limit of 0 .008. So, or excuse me, 0 .08. So, uh, we're going to get you transported down to the station here. Get you off the street. It's a good thing we found her. She could have stumbled out on the road and gotten hit. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring her into the back of my car here. We're going to take her down to the PD station and get her booked. Whoa, she just moved my car. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, get back in my car. Nine King, nine. 2636, I got one in custody. I'm going to be en route to the station. Uh, I think we're going to probably go ahead and uh, pull through this gas station parking lot to turn around. Uh, we actually, we really can't. We have to go back that way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just back up here. This is not very legal at all, but you know, we're a, we're a police officer. We have our lights on, so we're going to go ahead and flip around here in the intersection. 
And uh, let's go ahead and drive her over to police station and get her booked. Alright, we are back here at the police station. We're going to book this lady that we have here uh, for public intoxication. Let me go ahead and pull up front here. And uh, let's hop out, get her out, and get her booked. I'm probably going to go and end my video here, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to see more flashing lights, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm 100% going to do other uh, roleplay in this game outside of police. This one does have fire and EMS, so we're definitely going to make more videos on this. But let's go ahead and register the suspect. We have Marlene Christensen, and we're going to go ahead and sign player 35405, and she is booked for public intoxication. But anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching. And if you guys want to add this Arkansas State Police skin into your game, I will include it down in the description with the author so you guys can go into mod.io and put it in your game yourself. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.